Um, Grant Shapps, he's had quite the year. Yeah, he's had um, a, quite a career, actually. I just look at this, uh, assuming that he is uh, going to be the new Defence Secretary, and I have to say, uh, although this hasn't been confirmed officially, all the choreography suggests uh, that when you go in the front door with a smile on your face, you are going to be the big promotion uh, of the day. Uh, he's actually had, um, uh, this will be his fifth cabinet portfolio. He's been Secretary of State for Transport. He's been Home Secretary. Uh, he's been uh, Business uh, uh, Secretary. He's been uh, Energy Security and Net Zero Secretary. Now he's going to be Defence Secretary. He's also been a previous chairman of the Conservative Party, uh, and he had a, a number two job mm. uh, at uh, International Development. So uh, I think one can say uh, he's a grant of all trades, if you like, <laughs> as far as uh, cabinet responsibilities concerned. And he has just been confirmed as that now. A, a press release from Downing Street has uh, done the usual. The King has been pleased to approve the appointment of the Right Honourable Grant Shapps, MP as Secretary of State for Defence. Um, and interesting challenges ahead for him, Adam. Um, ben Wallace, in his, um, in his resignation, letter, warm resignation letter to the Prime Minister, um, was it pains uh, to point out um, the funding of, of the armed forces, saying that he was uh, confident that the organisation is better than when he took over, but um, we both share a belief that now is time to invest? Yes, uh, one of his boasts uh, before Ben Wallace is that he managed to uh, keep spending up uh, uh, and get spending increased, although he didn't get it as far as he would like in terms uh, of uh, defence and defence equipment. And, of course, one of the issues now is that the UK has been in the foreground uh, of giving uh, military resources to Ukraine, and that means that our own arsenals uh, have been depleted as well as there being uh, much debate over the size of the uh, armed forces, how many people you need, because that's continued to go down. Uh, under a uh, successive Conservative government since 2010. Um, so uh, Ben Wallace, I think, will, uh, as an ex-soldier himself, uh, has always liked to lobby uh, for the conventional military. And I suspect uh, that he may well do that, continue to do that once he leaves Parliament uh, mm -hmm. at the next election. I mean, a lot of speculation as to what job he might get. Clearly, they would like to have him. Uh, in many of the defence industries. Uh, he was disappointed, I think, although uh, very realistic uh, that uh, the UK uh, didn't really have the clout uh, to make sure that he became... Uh, the uh, next uh, Secretary General of NATO, although that job remains open. Yes, um, we're just seeing uh, TV pictures of Grant Shapps leaving Downing Street now after his uh, confirmation as Defence Secretary. He is uh, walking to the gates with someone next to him. Uh, I can't quite see their face, but they're in um, army uniform. Um, so I assume they're off to the Ministry of Defence for a, a, a warm welcome. You mentioned the choreography of, of this, Adam. It, it's usual choreography to do all your reshuffles at once, but is our understanding that the rest of the reshuffle, aside from filling the gap that Grant Chaps has left in Energy Net Zero, is going to be done at a later date? That is appears to be uh, the messages coming out from Number 10, although it has to be said they've done a good job in not being particularly leaky. Mm. Uh, but uh, we've already seen the style of this Prime Minister is to uh, proceed fairly cautiously. So the expectation at the moment is that we'll see one more person uh, and I would anticipate unless they're out of the country they also will walk up Downing Street and they will be the person who's going to be made the new net zero secretary energy security and net zero and actually uh, I do think that's not just a question of uh, filling a hole I think it's quite significant because as we know uh, there has been quite a lot of debate uh, within uh, the Conservative Party about just how green they should be, whether they should back off, whether that would uh, give them some uh, electoral dividends. Now, Grant Shapps, uh, although he was a fairly um, sinuous uh, uh, political operator, continues to be that, he would be seen as being one of the more environmentally concerned members uh, of uh, the Cabinet. He's very proud of his electric car, for example. Now, uh, will uh, Rishi Sunak try and reaffirm green credentials by uh, appointing someone who has a track record in that area? Or will he try and send out another signal by perhaps promoting John Glenn from the Treasury, uh, making it very clear to the public that we're not going to uh, go for mm. costly green measures?